<laughs> Hello once again gamers Cruznick X back with more Final Fantasy 14 in the path of the white mage. Um when we last left off in the white mage storyline, um we went we uh met with a strange Alra who seems to be doing an experiment. Now, uh Ishiva thinks that she may be related to what's happening with the taint and everything, but I seriously am unsure about that. Um, I think she's just some sort of alchemist that's trying something that has to do a lot with dragon entrails, uh, which still is kind of gross, but yeah. Anyways, we're going to talk to Ashiva and complete the level 56 quest, The Dark Blight rides terrible news Chris the manifestation of the taint you purged here has reappeared the fiends nearby were driven into a frenzy all over again and they reportedly ta attacked a knight on patrol though the man managed to flee to the convictory his wounds are grievous and the compound matters the camp's chirogens are all afield and cannot set readily return you are his only chance, Chris. You must go to the Convictory and save him. All right, off to the Convictory. Feels like we're gonna be stuck here for quite a while. All right, here we are. He's he is in a bad way. Please hurry and tend to his hurts. Yeah, yeah. Cast cure two on the wounded. You know what? Let me up my HUD layout. There we go. Cast cure two on the. The pain fades. I. I owe you a debt of gratitude. Thanks to you, the danger has passed. However, he will still require constant care for our time. I shall remain on hand to help provide it. Meanwhile, you must go and purify the taint that has reappeared west of Banepool. Only you have the power to do so, Chris. Please hurry before it can cause any more harm. Uh, why do I have to do it? Watch it be without help, too. Yeah. There it is. Can I be certain I won't be injured in any way by... Outside forces, yep. Alright, let's cast Protect and get to work.
sorry to people who suffer from seizures, but unfortunately... That was almost a tragedy right there. Alright, that takes care of that. I'm pleased to say that the knight will make a full recovery. Had you not come to his aid, his comrades believe he would have died. I see you have already purified the taint. Good work, Chris. I must say, though, that its reappearance baffles me. It should have taken far longer for befouled ether to accumulate. I'm disinclined, disinclined to believe that this came about by itself. Nay, I sense that someone else had a hand in this. I spoke with the knight after he had sufficiently recovered. Shortly before he was attacked, he caught sight of the foreign woman who reeks of death, Alaka. Wherever she appears, so too does the taint. I wasn't certain before, but now I'm convinced that it is no mere coincidence. Could it be that she is creating the taint? If so, to what end? Why would she do such a thing? I know not her designs, but her actions cannot be undone. Her actions cannot be borne. Should the taint continue to manifest, both Kurthus and the Twelve's Wood would suffer unimaginable damage. Still, Glade Fane must know of this threat. I shall send word. Th I shall send word to them. Though I shan't raise my hopes that the Seed Seers will bestir themselves. Best to assume that we are on our own. Now then, our priority now is to track down Alaka. The Knight said that she was headed west to the Dravanian Forelands. Let's take our search to the main settlement there. Tailfeather, I believe it's called. Alright, we're off to Tailfeather now. There she is. I've spoken with a handful of locals. A strange woman has been witnessed coming and going, and with some regularity. I'm reasonably confident that it is a locker, but I shall try to gather more information for good measure. Something occurs to me, Chris. If a locker is indeed responsible for creating the taint, she'll not take kindly to our purifying it. It may well come to a confrontation. Pray, use this time to further hone your powers, for we shall have need of them ere long. Alright. So we've completed the level 56 quest line and earned the new ability, a size. Now, let's see what a size does. It. Deals unexpected damage to all nearby enemies with a potency of 300. So this is an attack. But it's also a heal. Hmm...
Alright, um... I'm gonna have to figure out how, wh how and when to use that. That's probably gonna be, like, my only attack that I can use. Because it's an instast. I'll leave it where it is for now. Um... But until then, that's going to be it for this episode of Cruise Next Purgatory. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed the show. When next we meet, we will be completing the level 58 quest in Wake of Death. Um, but as always, if you're watching this on Twitch or live at PlayStation, and you like this video, feel free to hit the follow button below, and be sure to turn on notifications. If you're watching this on YouTube and you like this video, feel free to click the like button below and leave a comment. Subscribe to my channel by clicking here. Click here to watch more by me. Click here to watch the next episode of Path of the White Mage. And click here to watch the previous one. Until next time, Chrysic X. Signing out.